Hey friends, Total Blind Buy here. This is Bois Imperial from the house Essential Parfums. My first bottle from the house. Also, no idea. I saw it on Lucky Sense. I was browsing and I saw it for 70 some dollars for this supposed uh, niche fragrance. And But I do know the perfumer Quentin Bush. I don't know if he's the owner or the perfumer, probably the perfumer at least. So it's a total blind buy as a style. Let's go. Um, all right. So first impression, you get what I get. All right. The bottle itself is, I did an unboxing already. You saw on the short, the cap itself had a little bit of weight, but to be honest, the bottle itself is very like a generic stock bottle. Okay. The cap is okay. Not magnetic. We find out a little sticker on top, which is fine. I understand when it, it is a, um, especially a, um, I don't know if it's what a niche house it's not a designer for sure so for a niche house especially probably not a big house i don't mind them saving money on the presentation or the bottle here we go spray time let's see okay why well, did the first spray on the shorts so here we go very good spray very good atomizer all right uh, let the alcohol evaporate a second now, the reason for the two standby accompanying fragrance is those are the two that I have from Quentin Bish, the perfumer. This is Le Mans, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mans Essence. This is uh, Paco Rabanne One Million Parfum, which both I really enjoy. And I thought about getting back a bottle of those, but because of how much I enjoyed you know, those, just to show how much I enjoyed those, all right, huh. this is okay. Right away, it's a fresh, spicy, woody, but it's very fresh. Oh, I'm sorry, not very fresh. I mean light. I meant to say light instead of. It is fresh, but not like extremely fresh. This is a woody type of scent. Okay. Huh. <laughs> Give me a second. Um. Give me a second. Let me grab something. All right. I want to grab this one. This is the Ohm 2020 version. I'm going to do a side by side because let me go and spray first. Where's my hand? Right. If you see my video of this one, you know, I do not like, I did not like it the first time I picked it up because I enjoyed the original. The Irish Space Original. When this one came in, I finally bought it. So I bought 50 mil. So you could tell that I was um, extremely resistant to buying it. But then I like it more and more. And I realized it's one of those, like the Chanel, Blue de Chanel, where it's very, very versatile. It should be very likable. And also, it's very non offensive. I could use any time, especially when I'm meeting, uh, you know, people the first time for clients and all, or business meeting and things like that. I wear this sometimes, and then I understand. And the more I wear it, the more I enjoy it. I pick up nuances in there that I really, really enjoy this, this airy type of woodiness. And when I first spray on this one right now, I'm getting some sort of vibe about it. But now I'm doing it side by side. No, they're not all the same. Actually, they smell different, but they're in the same direction. They're not clones. They're nothing alike. I'm sorry. They're not very much alike, but they're in the same direction where it is things that I just said about the Ohm 2020 can be said for this one. It is a very, what is the best way to say this? Ethereal. Yep. It's, it's airy. It's fresh. It's light and yet it does carry. It's not light that you cannot even detect. This is light, but it, it is strong as well. It does project as well. <laughs> this is spicy, woody, but I cannot really say I could tell what kind of wood it is or exactly what kind of spice it is, but it's very well blended. Oh, this is good. This is very good. I'm talking about Bois Imperial. This is very good. <laughs> okay, I mean, you know, the perfumer Quentin Bish. 
I know he works for, I think, Jividon, the company. Yeah. I'm trying to see if I could pick out anything else on here. The top is very fresh, spicy, and light woodiness. It's on the airy side. It is not strong. Where that's why I'm getting the diff the 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 vibe of the light woodiness from the Dior as well. This is an interesting cooling vibe that I'm getting from Bois Imperial. Yeah, this is. Uh, I like this. This is okay. It's this would be suitable a guy very well dressed, and he'll put this on. And there's not shouts, and yet you could tell this guy's sophisticated. It's very well put together. Yeah, that's what it feels like. This is a gentleman, but not old school, not classic, but classy in a modern way. Hmm. I'm kind of. I, I think it's kind of funny how I'm. I'm feeling getting that vibe while it is very. It could be said to be simple, but yet it's not. It <laughs> this is so interesting of a scent. Um, I'm absolutely loving it right now, but yet I can understand if if I'm, I'll, I'll definitely wear it tomorrow and the people smell it. I'll absolutely understand if they say this is very simple, like no big deal, and yet something is catching me. The the simple elegance of it hmm. maybe i'm thinking too much into what i'm feeling right now smelling this maybe just you know some simple thing maybe i uh, just a couple notes but i feel there's a lot of stuff in here that i cannot really discern break down exactly what it is i just know the general direction it's uh you know it's woody but i can't even tell what type of wood it is maybe fresh is a cedar wood but i think freshness is coming from the spice Yeah, this maybe I don't know if I smell a, any bit of green or any floral. I can't tell. Okay, sometimes I'm smelling those, um, especially the cheaper, uh, the cheaper frequencies, where I cannot dissect the, the the notes in there. But I feel they're just very mobile muddled together, so I can't tell what's in the mud. Okay, but this one is if. You have very nice stuff, ingredients all grinded together, and then they give you a very nice overall uh, scent, and like an accord, okay, a core, very beautiful core, and you could tell this good stuff in here, but I can't tell what is in the grinder, okay, what what you what have they blended in? That's what I'm feeling right now, and that's exciting. I I'm gonna wear it for tomorrow. I'm not even gonna look it up. I'm gonna see what. How it's gonna transition and it dry down things like that. But right now it hasn't changed much. It's still that the vibe. But I love the way this is in the cool weather right now. I could see this in the warm weather as well. It's fresh and light enough. But yet I feel this woodiness in, in the in the cold weather right now. It's about 55 degree right now and it's cool, very cold actually. And it's coming through very strongly. Now I'm doing these two side by side. <laughs> what happened was, since I started liking this the Dior Room, I was thinking about getting a uh, bigger bottle as a backup, a hundred mil. This is a fifty mil. I was thinking about that, but now a hundred mil of this, you're talking about maybe ninety bucks or something. Or oh, did I mention I picked this up around seventy five? That's this is a crazy good deal. Now I probably don't need to get the um Dior Room. I'll just use this one or maybe get a backup of this one. I'm going to look into this house. Essential perform. This is, oh, jeez. Yeah, that's what happens when we blind buy. Sometimes we struggle, sometimes we don't. In the process, we get to spend a lot of money. <laughs> but if it is a hobby that you enjoy, like I do, hey, uh, we sacrifice other things and pick this up, right? Pick up the stuff that we enjoy. There's a lot of reason why I do that, why I enjoy fragrances and I'm willing to spend the money on it. But um, of course, we're trying to get the best deal, right? So yeah, it's not changing much. Um, I'm not going to keep going. Um, it's been, what, uh, eight minutes since I sprayed it. 
so far is still the same and i do apologize for this impression i don't know what it is i can't really tell what it is it maybe it's cedar but it smells more complicated than that there's more stuff going on maybe i oh, oh now i'm picking a little vetiver i think there's some vetiver but but Hmm. Whenever I think about, vet about vetiver, I'll think about the Galan vetiver and also the Tom Four gray vetiver. Yeah, maybe. Okay, okay. I'm getting a little vibe of that, the gray vetiver, Tom Ford. More that one than the um, Galan vetiver. This is more that one, the Tom Ford. Yeah, just, just, just a vibe in here. Now maybe I'm going to the middle or the drying down. Yeah, that's what I'm picking up. So, okay. A little bit more green is coming through, but it's not really nice. It's not really the green green or not the foresty green. Not really uh, cypress or anything. I know this is a very light green in here. Maybe green notes. Hmm. This is so good that I will be wearing. Okay, when I say woodiness, I was just thinking about this. The Dior is going to be more woody than Bois Imperial, but because this kind of woodiness is not the Bentley Intense uh, Lumber Yard Wood, no, it's not. This is, that's why I say ethereal, it's, it's light, it's airy, it doesn't, it's, it's, it's not as dense as those uh, wood uh, or wood or wood or forest, no, it's, it's a lot lighter than that. As if I'm, I'm jumping on a pillow or something, the soft, uh, fluffy pillow. I don't know why I just thought of that. Um, I'm jumping on a cloud or something. That's what I'm feeling. This is so cool. This is really cool. Okay, so I, I can't really say I, I pick up other stuff. It's, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to drag it on. For sure, I'm going to leave this and if it changes, but right now it's two thumbs up, four thumbs up. If I have two hands, four hands, four thumbs up. This is extremely good. But do not go into it thinking that it's going to wow you in like some super unique, um, you know, uh, something so new that you never saw before. No, it's not that. I don't think the ingredients going to be exotic or anything. Because, you know, we smell so many fragrances. We probably smell all the ingredients already. We know what everything kind of smells like. But I have to say this is how it is blended very well. Like this one, the Dior Homme as well. It's very well blended, even though in the beginning I resisted. I, I did not want to give it its love. Yeah. But, you know, it's like, um, yeah, anyway, I don't want to go into that. But yeah, this is very well blended. I can imagine some people do not be able to pick out or be able to appreciate it. Yeah, I could see that. Because it's, it's simple and yet it's elegant. It, it's very good in a very simple way. Sometimes I watch movies that it seems simple and yet there is a very a big enjoyment in those type of uh, movies. Okay, Like example, like Sleep is in Seattle. I know it's a, a chick movie or something, but it's awesome. It, it, I'm just saying example, things like that. That seems simple and yet every time I watch it, like Notting Hill, uh, you know, this great, easy, uh, romantic type of movie, very simple, and yet yeah, there's a lot of nuances in there that every time I watch it, I'll enjoy it. I watch it many, many times, Notting Hill, things like that, for example, okay? It doesn't have to be the heavy hitter, the Marvel movies, or it doesn't have to be, um, you know, blood and gore or scary, whatever. It's just something simple, easy to watch for enjoyment, and that's, that's the vibe I'm getting. It's very nice. All right, it hasn't changed much. So what I would say is if this is extremely versatile, you can use it anywhere, anytime. The season is, is like I say, is airy. So it's going to be for the in-between season. Also summer. So maybe except winter, every, every other season you could wear this. I don't think it's going to be strong enough for the high uh, stream cold. Okay. Yeah. Um, this... This is masculine because of the woodiness. I would, I don't envision, I don't want to smell this on a girl or woman. Not really. This is masculine. This is masculine, but in a gentle way. Okay. But it's not really like the 
old English gentlemanly type of thing. No, those are more old school. This is not that. This is modern. Modern for sure. Like this one, Dior Homme. I, I still enjoy this one as well. Even though right now I'm kind of leaning towards this boy Imperial. Not only the price, not only the price, but maybe I just got it so it's kind of fresh and new. But I do enjoy it a lot. I still enjoy this one as well. So yeah, I don't have anything exactly like this. No, I don't. Kind of in, in the same direction, the light woody direction. Yep, but not not like this. This is very well put together. Sorry that I cannot give you more detail as far as the notes or whatever is in here, but you, you know, you get a general direction of the vibe of what it is. Maybe you could say, yeah, I don't smell any floral, any wood. I mean, wood, O-U-D, not really. Not really too much green, maybe just a tad, but mainly it's the light, woody, fresh, yeah, okay. I hope that's helpful though. I'm gonna be wearing this, the heck out of this. I really, really, really enjoy it. This is probably the, probably the best uh, new pickup or uh, first impression that I did. Yeah, I forgot, but it's probably, probably up there. Top two, top three, I, I love, or maybe top one. That's how much I enjoy this. But I just had to emphasize, it does not wow, it's not gonna, it's not the type to wow most people, okay? so. Don't open it, expect it to blow you away. And when he doesn't, he's like, Dave, dude, it, it did not blow me away. What are you talking about? Like two thumbs up, four thumbs up and top one and top two. All right. You got to go into it like I'm going to it. I did not expect much, but I right away caught me that the 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 light, elegant airiness of the woodiness, that's, that's well, this is good stuff. All right. So don't go into a like a... um. Sleepless in Seattle, expecting a uh, Iron Man type of movie. Okay, just don't. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Okay, uh, so a very fast, quick review. First impression of this one: Essential Parfums by Imperial by Quentin Bish. Hey, I like that they put. You know, realize not many fragrances put the um perfumer. That's why I thought maybe he owns the company. Maybe this is company. Like I said, first impression of this house: total blind buy. So this is uh, a hundred mil. Oh, it's awesome. It's super awesome. I love it. I hope that is uh, helpful. As always, see you next time.